Creating a custom color palette in uh, Corel Draw is nice and easy. So all we have to do is come up to Window, come down to Color Palettes, and then Palette Editor. So if we click on that, we then get this. We can create a new palette. We'll just call it Test, and then just hit Save. And then we can add a color. I often work with an RGB, so I'm going to have some custom colors in there. Now I'm pretty sure we can, yeah, if we just type the name of the color, so black, it then gives us the default RGB colors for black. So if we just hit OK on that, it gives us this. Now we can change the name. Because I uh, have a laser engraving business, I allocate black to engraving. So I'm going to do that. Then I can add another color. And if we change this to red, which didn't work. There we go. Red, just hit OK on that. We can click on the red square up here and rename red to cutting, which is what I allocate red to. Then if we add another color, we could have blue. And I'm going to change this to light. It doesn't allow a space. So it will allow an underscore, so we can do that light engraving. So we can't actually see the colors over at the right hand side, but if we come to Window, Color Palettes, Palettes, we then get this docker, and we can see just here there's My Palettes, and if we expand that, we can see the test which we've just created. If we select that, it appears over here. And if we hover over these, it gives us the name that we allocated plus the RGB color. So engraving 000, cutting and light engraving. So that's nice and easy. Now the next thing, which I work a lot in Roland VersaWorks as well, and allocating colors to specific Roland colors, like if I want to use the white ink, I don't select a white color. I've got to select the Roland white to actually make it print using the white color. So uh, the way you have the Roland color docker up is if we just close this down again. So it's up at window, color palettes, palettes. Then if we go to palette libraries, then spot then Roland, and we can see Roland VersaWorks. So if we tick that, we can see it appears over here, and unticking it removes it. We can see it there. So if I hover over this, we can see that this is RDG white. And if we just select that, we can see it doesn't actually look white, but this will print white in Roland VersaWorks. So yeah, that's that.